It's a privilege to be able to stand here today and to speak on behalf of the unborn. I have a picture that was taken just yesterday. All of us as parents love to take pictures of our babies. This is a picture that was taken of an unborn baby yesterday. This is the age of a baby, the youngest age at 20 weeks that, that, we're, that this bill is referencing. And this is the picture of the mom. We're here because we care about women. We're here because we care about the unborn. That's why I support this wonderful bill that's before our body today. You see, we had a very recent disturbing account of the late-term abortionist. His name was Kermit Gosnell. He is, his actions have made debates like this more important than ever before. Because under the guise of being a medical professional, you see Dr. Gosnell violently ended the life of viable unborn babies. And in turn, he seriously hurt or even killed some of the women who he claimed were his patients. A few days ago, the minority leader, uh, Nancy Pelosi, referred to late-term abortions as sacred ground when voicing opposition to this bill. I found that to be a stunning statement. What could possibly be sacred about late-term abortion? What could possibly be sacred about dismembering this six-month-old little baby with a pair of scissors, as Kermit Gosnell did? What could possibly be sacred about listening to the whimpers and cries of a baby? Because you see, we know that babies at this age feel pain when a scissor is put into their body as it comes to an end. You see, we are the people who make the laws in our society, and therefore we have the duty to protect the inalienable right to life of every individual, both the mom and the unborn baby. And eight weeks from conception, an unborn child's heart begins to beat. By 20 weeks, he or she is capable of sensing pain. And babies as young as 21 weeks have survived premature birth. Madam Speaker, as a woman and as a mom of five natural-born children and 23 foster children, I am appalled by the savage practice of late-term abortion. There is no such thing as an unwanted child, and that's why this legislation is so important. It not only protects the unborn, it protects the mom against the lethal practices of abortionists like Gosnell, and women deserve better than abortion. Unborn children deserve their inalienable right to life. Pregnancy is wonderful. It can be difficult, too. That's why we need to show patience and compassion toward every woman as they carry a human life. We are indeed treading upon sacred ground, but it's because we're dealing with the sanctity of every human life. And out of respect for this mom and out of respect for this unborn child, I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this common sense piece of legislation. I thank Mrs. Blackburn. I thank uh, Representative Trent Franks of Arizona, and I yield back.